vlog my channel i wasn't expecting covid to be that bad i got it so i'm pretty sure i had it when i was doing the ocado video tested positive the next day and i've just been wiped for two weeks like even now i feel completely breathless after the smallest task i feel knackered all the time like a almost like a sleepiness i had tonsillitis at the same time so my doctor put me on antibiotics five day course didn't like knock it on its head so i had to do a 10 day course which i'm finishing today which i'm slightly nervous about finishing because i just don't want my tonsils to flare up again like i had all the kind of covid omicron symptoms like coldish i wasn't expecting tonsillitis and if you've had tonsillitis as an adult you'll know it's just so horrible like it's really debilitating and i just spent a lot of time crying in bed and um i spoke about this on my stories but it was nice to hear that it wasn't just me that felt like this first of all that covid like wiped them out or caused like a secondary kind of illness um but also that some of you suffer with health anxiety and i just really am not good at mentally dealing with things when there's something wrong with my body like my mind just goes into overdrive and i was like convinced that i had like i was harboring the new strain because like my dad had omicron and so did his sister who's in her 70s and they had like a little bit of a cold and from everyone who i'm speaking to who's like late 20s they're just being wiped out by it. But this video isn't about the negativity. In fact, we've even booked a holiday to, well, I'll say when I get there, but hopefully we will be on holiday for my 30th, which is in three weeks. And also this video is really exciting because I'll be unboxing my beauty pie order for this month. I have like kept it all wrapped up specifically for you because I wanted you to get like my first impressions of some products before. I have worked with beauty pie before, I've used their products. Their whole setup of how they work is incredible. So if you know about them, you already know how wonderful they are. And I will link all the products below that I use because I think it's really helpful to have like recommendations. But if you are brand new, you can use my code Molly sent me. And I'm gonna get into talking about Beauty Pie now because it's just so interesting. If you are a beauty lover or you have a friend or a family member who is a beauty lover, this is a must. You have to try Beauty Pie. And I did a big beauty pie order let me show you two boxes so we've got a lot to get through and i thought it'd be nice because i could do an actual makeup look on me as well as well as try out some of the bits that are new to me some bits that i already love and use and also just get my energy when i'm doing my beauty pie unboxing because it's such an exciting package to receive they also just package everything so well but if you don't know beauty pie beauty pie is a beauty lovers membership which gives you access to beauty and wellness products at lab direct pricing so for example when we buy a really expensive like designer perfume say there's a very limited number of labs in the world that can actually create beauty products however there is an infinite amount of brands and what the brands will do is use a really famous celebrity for example to market a new product and then we will buy it from retailers who also add markup and gradually the price of the product is increasing for the consumers like us but what beauty pie do is cut out all the middlemen so that we can get lab direct pricing which means we get exactly the same quality of products everything's very luxurious high quality i'll show you some of like even you can tell in the packaging it's so weighty and heavy and just crafted so well and the actual quality of the products is the top notch so us members we will get the best quality but at such lower prices i'll give you a few examples as we go through because it's actually shocking the amount we would pay extra for another brand that's exactly the same quality obviously for legal reasons i'm not allowed to say like this brand uses this lab and it's exactly the same as this beauty pie product but i think you'll get it throughout um there are some real kind of cult products that beauty pie do really well and again it's just exactly the same quality but without all of those markup costs added on for you if you are a new member you can use my code i'll put it here and in the description box along with all the products and um, my code is molly sent me and that will give you 10 pounds off your beauty pie plus membership for the year which would usually be 59 pounds but with my code it's only 49 pounds and that membership gives you access to these lower prices and even if you just scroll on the website now i'll do like a scrolling example here you'll be able to see what the regular price would be versus the beauty pie plus membership price the savings are 
huge code here now code below as well i'm so excited because i honestly have kept these boxes in the corner waiting to do this video this is my big box of stuff now beauty pie are really known for incredible skincare that's a great place to start if you are new something else that beauty pie are really good at doing is educating new members i suppose so when you go on for the first time and i would suggest that you do that after watching the video you can actually see really thorough and helpful reviews on what other beauty pie members have bought and i found that when i did my very first beauty pie um, order that was a really good place for me to start and I love seeing best sellers anyway for new brands so alongside doing great skincare and makeup beauty pie also do hair care body care fragrance and they're really good for gifts as well if you're not sure what to get somebody um, who's in your life that loves beauty then this discounted membership could be a really lovely idea um, so I got the Bergamo and Wild Basil candle I haven't smelt this yet I wanted to get everything on camera um, but you can just tell from the packaging everything's so beautiful like if I was gifted this I'd be really happy made in France made with a high-grade mineral wax and it's a 60 hour burn time oh my goodness <laughs> So it's a really dark green glass candle, incredibly weighty, like I was saying at the beginning, you can feel the quality through the product packaging even before you've used the products. And I know exactly who the other brand is who make this candle for an incredible, like five times the price. Let me just find out the price for you now for this one. So you can buy these as a guest. I personally don't know anybody who buys from Beauty Pie and isn't a member. It's just a no brainer. This would be 60 pounds. But if you are a Beauty Pie member and if you use my code Molly sent me, um, you can get this candle for 19 pounds 61. 19 pounds 61 instead of 60 pounds. I love to repurpose my candles as well afterwards so I like to use them for putting in like cotton rolls or q-tips things like that. I am so excited to burn this it's so delicious. I also found that they did a reed diffuser so this one is the pomegranate and bay rose again how lovely would this be to gift and I am just getting little things around the flat just to make it a bit nicer. I'll smell this for you as well. Again the packaging is just some of my favourite everything just looks so luxe. Um, this is glass as well, so really weighty, very beautiful design. Really like the red colour as well, quite mysterious. And yeah, the Bay Rose. This is the Fragrant Reed Diffuser. Would be £65, but with Beauty Pie membership, it's £24.95. First smell. It's so lovely. Really fruity. That's really lovely. Very, very, very happy with that. Look at that. So luck, so lovely. I'm gonna get some makeup on my face in two secs as well. I just wanna go through the fact that there's beauty, there's skincare, but there's other bits as well. Picked up a couple of body bits too. So I got the Super Healthy Skin, which is a deluxe body moisture cream. I am fake tanned always now, and um, I find that a good moisturizer, a good body moisturizer really helps prolong your tan, so I wanted to try this one. I also was influenced by, um, I don't know if anybody follows Diana Edit, but she's one of my favorite influencers. She's also a Beauty Pie member. Um, so I went to go see what some of her favorites were, and she uses the Soul Providers Re-Energizing Dry Oil Sugar Scrub. So I think I'm gonna use this in the shower. Oh wow, there's like even a little scooper that it comes with. It's like wooden. See, everything's just so luxe with Beauty Pie. And then you get a huge tub, huge, of this scrub called Soul Providers. The packaging, the branding, it's all just so lovely. This looks lovely. This is the, um, the body moisturizer. It's a like a matte packaging. Can you hear it? And um, that'll just look really nice and clean in the bathroom. And then I thought I would just try out some of the body butter, just a little bit. It just feels very high quality. A very light, clean, slightly citrusy scent. So that would be lovely to use. I love moisturizing freshly out the shower and then getting on some fresh pajamas and into bed. 
that's a lovely another lovely beauty pie addition i also got 100 percent silk scrunchies and then i wanted to try the triple hyaluronic acid hydra plump dewy skin mist i can put this on now in fact they have a whole hyaluronic acid range, which is a really great place to start if you are new to Beauty Pie and you're new to skincare. This hyaluronic acid range is a bestseller. Um, and you can, as I was saying before, read all the reviews on each product on there. I'm just gonna spritz this on now. Just for some extra hydration. And then key to a vegan diet, and I'm pretty sure I am lacking in these. This is, um, so they also have supplements and I got the Beauty Pie Like Sun. This is a vitamin D3 and K2 soft gel. Again, the packaging is exquisite. I actually have opened these because I, I have been taking these. There was, I, the Beauty Pie order came and I was like, I'm gonna leave it all for the video, but I do need um, these, they're also vegan and they're just a little pill to pop. They're suspended in olive oil. They're vegan, which is really rare to find. Not to get medical, and I'm definitely not gonna recommend any medical advice, but my friend who's a doctor, I was like, one piece of advice, blanket piece of advice for everybody, and she said we should all be taking vitamin D supplements because in, in the UK and we just don't get enough of it. So I'm gonna get some water and take this now. You might have seen it at the beginning of the vlog, the absolute pharmacy that I've got in my side table at the moment because I'm still very much recovering and supplements like these will help. I'll link the glasses below, I get a lot of questions on these. They're like five pounds each from Amazon. I wanted something that I could put water, juice, cocktail, wine, obviously. I think originally they are red wine, stemless red wine glasses, but we just wanted an everything glass. I'll link them below, they're very popular. Oh, and for these soft gel capsules, would be 40 pounds, Beauty Pie members, 12 pounds 79. So that was like body care. I had the hair bits in there, supplements, hyaluronic acid. Now I'm gonna get on to some of the makeup products that I've got. A lot of these I'm trying out for the first time. Did rely heavily on um, the other Beauty Pie members rating the products. So helpful, they can give them stars but they also like write out what they thought about them. And I always trust an unbiased recommendation. So I'm gonna get a little bit of makeup on. I'm also gonna do an IG reel on this and I think I'm gonna do like a that girl makeup look because, and I keep saying this, but like the older I get, the less makeup I'm wearing and I'm really enjoying just looking as natural as possible but slightly polished is my look. Also, I'm just noticing like how lovely that hyaluronic mist has made my skin look. Like it's fully dried down now, it's not wet anymore, but it has given me such a natural glow. I just wanted to show you up close, so I'm gonna be unboxing and trying all of these, but just the quality, the packaging, everything just looks so lovely and it's genuine pleasure to receive um, this. I've actually used before. I know exactly how this is gonna be and it's just wonderful. So I'm gonna get these into an order, put them on my face and do like a little bit of a makeup look for you. But this, I, I can't explain that how high quality the products are and the prices that you get for them. And often it's so unfair to the consumer, the amount that we pay for the quality that we receive. So these are manufactured in some of the world's best beauty labs. So Switzerland, Japan, Korea, Italy, and some in the UK as well. So here we are, we're gonna do all of these bits now, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so let's start with, let's start with the brightening primer. I haven't used this before. I'm pretty sure I saw the Anna Edit using this though, and I saw her mix the primer with the sheer tinted oil-free SPF 20, it's like a tinted moisturizer. So let's use this first. Ooh. So it's kind of like a slightly pearly finish. No glitter, just luminosity which is lovely. And I think if you're going for that really paired back makeup look, your skin doesn't have to be perfect, but it does need to look well looked after and hydrated. But I would happily go out of the house with just that on. And it sits perfectly on top of that hyaluronic mist. Again, I will link all of these below for you in case there's anything that you like. I think if you're brand new, I would probably get a few selection of products across the different categories and then also rely heavily on the reviews. That being said, and regardless of the fact that this is an ad, I haven't tried anything bad from them. Now for the moisturizer, I got it in the color medium just because 
of the fake tan so hopefully that'll be a good match they describe this as a wearable selfie filter with sun protection so it's spf 20 which is great oh and it's quite dark oh no actually i think this will be a perfect color for my tan okay i'm just gonna dab this on with my fingers then just to keep that like skin finish the medium is quite dark but because i am fake tanned i think that will work well it's lovely it's really easy to smooth on that's actually a perfect match for my tan now i've used that product before so i know i love it and i know it works it sits so well on my skin it looks beautiful and it gives me the exact kind of clean look but it doesn't cover up my skin at all oh it's so lovely and then the everyday great skin concealer I haven't used this before incredibly impressed with the shade range online 14 different shades really beautiful packaging it's like a frosted tube i love their font as well it's just all the font and just everything is just done so well on the packaging what shade did i get 200 buttermilky this is also vegan cruelty free and oh look at that even the um it's like a see-through kind of applicator nib with the doe foot applicator really like that this looks like a good color so this should be a matte finish and it's vegan and cruelty free so i'm just gonna go here which is where i get a lot of pigmentation and spots if i decided to have cheese every now and then i'm gonna go do that kind of tiktok thing where they go like that and then i'm just gonna blend it out with my fingers i have to go down my nose as well top of my lip and then just between the brows i think i'm just gonna use finger application for this whole look R again really great color they make it easy for you to select the right shade online blends out very well but yeah, it, it's matte and it has that good coverage. And I think it's really nice to have a dewy concealer sometimes, but that's when there'll be a bit too much slip so the product can slide around. And also if it's under my eyes, it just creases so bad. So I need something that has a little bit more control to it. And again, this would be 22 pounds, but as a Beauty Pie member, it's nine pounds 28. So it's kind of like that high street price, but with that luxury quality. And I can't really think of anybody else who's doing that. But you're just not having to pay for all of the markup that comes with it, which is so clever. Beauty Pie, I believe, was founded by Marcia Kilgore, also founder of Soap and Glory. So she's very credible. That's nice. Really like that. Great balance between the matte concealer and the glowy base. Now, potentially my favorite part, and this is a product I've used before, their Super Brow Precision Pencil. This is made in Korea. What I love about this is that, and this is essential for a good brow pencil, is that it is so fine. And I can't use eyebrow pencils that aren't fine anymore. So it looks like this. I got the color Hot Coffee. And one end you have this spoolie, which is wonderful, completely essential. I've been laminating my brows recently and they need a spoolie to kind of lift them up sometimes because they're a bit floppy. And then at the end, a super, super fine pencil, which is just what I need for creating like the individual hairs just so that your brows don't look too blocky. If you find that your brows have been blocky recently, I would really recommend a product like this that you can just add in individual hairs and just a fluffy natural brow is my favorite. Um, I definitely have gaps. So using a really fine pencil like this just allows me to fill them in, create a bit more shape at the tail and in the front parts. And then I will use a sculpting gel. I um, haven't used this one before, just to set them in place. So with my brows, I'm gonna wind up the tip here. I like to just build the arch here a bit more where it's a bit gappy and just tiny strokes to just build the individual hairs. I like a bit more of an arch and coming down here, but you can just be so soft. These are incredibly pigmented, but you see how I've just got a lot more shape in the brow there. And then I actually leave the body alone. Like this part I leave alone quite often, um, just to keep it looking really natural. And then just like feather in some hairs at the front there. And even before I put the brow gel through this, it would have made such a difference to my face. This is a great pencil, but I don't want to make the strokes too dense because when you start doing that is when it looks blocky. 
and this way it still looks really natural. And then we also like to use exactly the same colour for bringing out any uh, moles or freckles. So I've got this one here and then this one here. And I just think it's in keeping with that whole clean look. I'm not trying to mask my skin at all and make it a blank canvas. I just want it to look like beautiful, healthy skin. Undoubtedly, my favorite step of doing my face. You can see everything in action. Those are the brows, just really natural. And that's what my skin looks like so far. Haven't done any other bits yet though. Now I'm gonna use the Archology Eyebrow Sculpting Gel. They're just, they're so compelling with the way that they write about the products as well. Honestly, I would, open up a tab for after this video and take a look so i got the um clear gel let me just check yes i got the clear gel comes with a tiny brush again which i think just helps you really get in there some of my other eyebrow gels they are thicker and it tends to like transfer the products around the brows but this way i can get in exactly where i want to and it's really helping define the brows and then it will just stay there all day, I hope. I think eyebrow gels like this as well are really good for adding in that extra texture, which is key to making the brows look natural. But also just having a proper gel that works like this. And I can feel the products going on, like I can feel they're about to dry down. I just want to sort them out once in the morning and then not have to worry about them again. Gorge, I love it so much. I'm really enjoying myself, if you can't tell. If you're somebody who loves that kind of laminated look i think having an eyebrow gel is just a must an eyebrow gel tinted moisturizer and kind of like a lip to cheek blush and i'm kind of good to go this is great just to place the brows where you want them to go as well <sighs> really happy with that and it's so small it's great to throw in your bag too beauty pie doing a very good job another price example you could buy this as a beauty pie guest for 25 pounds but with again i'll put my code up here um the beauty pie plus membership this one is eight pounds 44 can't beat it next up super cheek cream blush oh i got this in sexy berry which is kind of like a darker shade than i would usually go for but i think that's closer to how i would be if i was naturally flushed like I love my skin after I do my peloton, so I wanted to kind of imitate that with this colour. Ooh, that is pigmented. Okay, that might be a bit much, we'll see how we go. But, we can always blend it out, can't we? I love to put it on the apples of my cheeks. I think a cream blush like this is just so essential for that kind of refreshed that girl look. I feel like that girl look is actually just a modern take on kind of like a model casting look. It really reminds me of just that very clean, underdone, um, I'm definitely going to have to blend this out. I am loving it, especially with this like blue blouse, blue shirt. Good to know that you only need a dab and it is super pigmented. Also, put it on my nose for that like fresh look. Wow. So you only need a little bit of that, but I really like it. it that look very reminds me of, um, is it Emily Didonata? Is the really beautiful. I think she did the Davidoff Cool Water ad. She's just like a blush fiend and it just looks lovely. And she's like, there's no such thing as too much blush. And I really like that mentality. Um, it just looks so fresh, so youthful. And I know other people have been like putting blush up here for more of like that kind of contoured sleek look, but I actually love it on my apples. I think it looks fresh and healthy. That's a really lovely color as well. I'm glad I decided to go slightly darker. I've got quite a few shades on there and something just pulled me towards this sexy berry colour. I'll leave my colours and shades as well down below too. Just looking gorgeous. I think probably time for some mascara now. I went for the Flash False Lash Mascara. I'm just looking on their site now and they have even like a lash primer, uber volume boost, massive fan. They've got just different types of mascaras depending on what you would like. So I got this one in Cosmic Black and it comes with a really small, again, applicator, which I think just gives you a lot more precision and control and means that you can decide exactly how you want your makeup to be. And I find that these applicators are the best at getting my very short lashes to their maximum length. That being said, I don't want them to be like too long, too clumpy. I just almost want to like tint the color because my lashes are so fair and just lengthen them slightly. But honestly, having this smaller 
nib allows you to like get in the corner and just target the lashes that you want to. And look at that. And I feel like my blush has like calmed down slightly and just mellowed into the perfect berry shade too. Then another new product for me, Pro Glow Strobing Drops. I also saw that they've got like an illuminating wand. I'm not gonna say who I think maybe sources that product from the same lab, but um, I can imagine it's very good. But I got this one because again, just frosted glass packaging, very high quality, lovely to hold and to use. Um, but this is a lot more multi-purpose, so I could see me mixing this in with foundation for an all over glow, or even with a primer, or get a little bit on a brush and just hit your decolletage and tops of your what are these called shoulders which is lovely if you're going to an event and just makes such such a difference or you could even mix it in with your body moisturizer and then go all over i could even thinking out loud i mix it with my beauty pie body moisturizer that i showed you earlier being careful with my words i think i know which brand is exactly the same product as this but obviously this is a fraction of the price so this is 10 pounds 19 when it would usually be 30 pounds so i'm going to be really careful with this because i imagine it's incredibly pigmented and i'm just going to pop it on my some of my high points put this over the top of the berry blush incredibly pigmented like i thought it would be so you don't need much of this at all this Will last a very very long time and i think it would look incredible on the body so those are the strobing drops which you can see are just reflecting the light so well i'm sat right in front of a window here so it's maximum luminosity i think we need some lip products now another one inspired by the anna edit and her beauty pie selections the wonder gloss collagen lip oil this contains collagen hibiscus oil and cherry oil and then the wonder gel long wear lip liner and i feel like i'm excited about this color i remember selecting the color and being like yeah this is the one so let's start with the liner again their selection of shades for liners is really impressive so i got damsel which is kind of like it looks like a pinky nude one thing i really like to do is kind of put my lips together and then like stretch them i'll show you what i mean like this so it just exposes the upper lip line and allows me to draw them there and i will go over just for a fuller look First thing I noticed is that it's really creamy, very, very easy to apply. What a lovely colour. And then for a lip product, I have to use this one, I, I couldn't not when it arrived. The Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil, and this is in Shimmerine, so it's like, it's like a no colour. It, it looks white with a shimmer to it. And I just wanted to use this by itself for, ooh, that is so my kind of lip product, just something that's easy to apply so I could carry this in my handbag and just top it up. It feels conditioning, not sticky, not gloopy, and adds a real subtle shimmer to the lips that just make them look a little bit voluminous than they are. And I feel like that's the finished look for the day, which is really nice. I hope you enjoyed that, I did too. The sun was playing havoc over there, so I just wanted to show you the finished makeup look here so beautiful and like fresh and glowy and lovely um obviously they don't just do makeup there's skincare there's fragrance supplements um body care hair care and even things like silk um like eye masks when you sleep the range is huge the quality is high the savings are ridiculous so i'll leave my code here one more time for you if you're thinking about becoming a beauty pie member please do use it, it gives you 10 pounds off your beauty pie plus membership which means for the year you have access to those ridiculous savings everything will be linked below and i hope you enjoyed that part of the video i really did this is just lovely this is like this is how i always want my makeup to look saw as well that in the bottom of my beauty pie box I had um, this I forgot I got this it's the super nude nail polish I haven't actually worn nail polish in ages I find they chip way too quick for my liking I thought I'd do that and then I think I looked at the time it's like quarter to 11 
so I need to start thinking about lunch soon. It's a hard life. In my last video, um, when I did the Ocado order, I got the deliciously Ella, I think it's like a super greens soup. I had half of it yesterday, I'm gonna have half of it today. It was absolutely delicious with maybe if they defrost in time. I don't think they will, but the plant kitchen gyoza, like dumpling type things, they are so tasty. And I think tonight we'll probably do, I'll probably do like a super greens pesto, creamy pasta vegan type thing. The rest of the day though, I don't know. I've got, I've got a lot of content that I need to film. I also need to edit my reels from yesterday. I need to put up a reel and just tidy up my room a bit. Also, so re-holiday, I'm getting quite a few packages at the moment just because I'm trying to like get some form of holiday wardrobe together. So I did an M&S order. I can show you quickly. I don't know if I'm in the mood to try on stuff to be honest, um, but it won't be a proper haul style. I got some like swimsuits and cover-ups from M&S. Got size 18 and 20 and they fit really well. And then I also was kindly gifted some stuff from a company called Beach Flamingo, which I will show you, which is like, Hunza G, a few other really top designer brands. And they gifted me like five or six like bikinis and swimsuits. I did a free people order recently actually, which I'm really excited to receive, which I will show you when that gets here. But if you have any suggestions for like curve stuff for a beach holiday, please do let me know. I've had a look on some of my go-to places and there's nothing particularly interesting. Do you know the thing I think about curve swimwear is that it's so lame a lot of the time. There's lots of tankinis, there's lots of kind of swim dresses, and there's just nothing that I think would be both stylish and supportive. Lovely nude color, isn't this? Um, so if you have any suggestions, please do let me know below. from my avocado order as well. Creamy almond milk spread. So good, so much like a Philadelphia, but with a chive flavor. Um, on some sourdough with my soup, because the other day I had a tomato and basil, just like a really plain soup, again from my avocado order, with um, some sourdough, and I had some hummus on the sourdough with the soup. So easy, so healthy, nutritious, lovely, and it was so tasty. So I feel like I need to get back into soups with like some kind of spread on bread. Um. I also got these from H&M Home recently and these stripy napkins as well. So I will link these below. Just the three of us. So tasty. So I've actually decided that I will show you my bits that I picked up from M&S for holiday. Um, I appreciate that maybe it's not very seasonal, but I want to show you anyway to get your opinion and advice. I think M&S are great because they're very they're true to size, very reliable, and I can trust them to do like high quality but also just be quite neutral and basic which suits me for swimwear so i'm going to show you four items that i got also you know i was talking about beach flamingo earlier they sent me this which i'm going to keep it's a hunza g um swimsuit which i've always wanted and it comes in this incredible pink color i actually thought i would wear it underneath this blue shirt this shirt was in h&m 17.99 got it in a size L, um, but I also thought it'd be really good for holiday, and I like how the pink and the blue go together. So I'm keeping this one. Let me show you the other beach flamingo swimsuits that they sent me. There's like one, two, three, four, five, and a sarong. I feel like if you're a size 16, this would be a really good place if you wanted like high-end swimwear, beach flamingo. And I was torn between, yeah, the orange and the pink. I think I'm gonna go for the pink 
but this would look really good with a tan. It's very tan enhancing. Sorry. You know, you don't need to... Oh. <laughs> Actually just going to reapply some of my collagen lip oil for the full look, give you the full effect, you know? So, this one is number one. I really like the gingham. This is the Designed to Flatter. I've got it in a size 18, it's £29, it's the magic shaping with secret slimming front and back for all around support. Bando non-wired, SunSmart UPF 50 plus. I guess that means I can't get burnt through the swimming costume, although that's never been a problem in the past. So I really liked the gingham. It might make the camera go a bit funny. Yeah, I really liked the gingham and yeah, it's a bando. So does that mean it's strapless? It comes with these straps and I way prefer it without the straps. Let me just show you what this looks like it does have like boning down the side here so i think give that silhouette and then inside there's almost like a netting which i don't know if i'm a huge fan of it really but it does feel very supportive if you want something supportive in gingham i'd recommend this i also just think gingham's really cute in general for like hotter weather but i do prefer it with the straps in let me show you so that it would look something like this and I just think that's really classy I feel incredibly supported up here it's actually not underwired but it has like a molded cup inside of it this is like kind of ruched and gathered here I guess to be a bit more flattering on the belly but I feel like comfortable and supported in this and like it would be easy to style with white or black kind of cover-ups so I got this from the M&S Beachwear collection. This is £25. I got it in a UK 20 and I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton. Yes, 100% cotton. And I got it a size up just so it would be like oversized and nice, but I just love a white flowy linen. Uh, not linen, but like it's a linen look actually. Very casual kind of crinkled shirt, which I think is nice for holiday and would go very well over a suit like this. So... I'm not like 100% sure about the gingham just because of the structuring, like the boning here. I just feel like I would rather something is less flattering but a bit more comfortable, I suppose. I think I'm being really picky, but I really like the shirt over this as well. I've got quite a few white shirts now, which are great for holiday, but I think just for confidence and like throwing it over a swimsuit or even to, you could wear it in the evening with like kind of palazzo style trousers that I think this shirt's really nice. That could be quite cute, like a sun hat and some glasses too. And I will show you, I've got another couple of items I'll jump into now. Before I show you the next one, I just took off the gingham one. I wanted to show you what I mean. So it's got these molded cups here with an elastic band that goes underneath the boobs. Um, and then this is like the netting I was talking about. So you can see there's the actual gingham underneath kind of here and then this netting on top. And I just feel like the double layer will take longer to dry after I get wet. I don't know, I can just imagine me feeling a bit like, you know when it dries out and it almost feels a bit itchy. So I really like the design of this. I just think for a really hot holiday and one that I'll regularly be in the water, this might not be the one. I do think it's really cute though. I could see me wearing that like farmhouse or something. And then this one is size 18. It's got their secret slimming thing in again, which I'm not sure what that means. This doesn't have the mesh inside and it also doesn't have boning down the side but it does still feel very structured and I love a like a square cut neck with this plunge detail I've never had before but this is just um I think that's just like plastic or metal inside um and it does make me feel quite lifted and quite feminine and like voluptuous so I quite like this style actually I really like it um and it has more of that like true swimsuit feel I can imagine this drying well and being a bit more comfortable but also feeling quite confident in this one too it does create like a nice shape i usually go down a size in mns so sometimes like my mum jeans from them were a 16 which i was surprised at um but this is an 18 i would say stay true to that because the swimsuits are fitting a little bit smaller so that is good and then also i got these which is probably my favorite I find it really hard to get trousers. I picked these up in an 18 long. Another thing I love about MS trousers, a lot of them, they have a small, regular, or a long. So I've got these 18, they are a wide high rise, and they're just like a beach trouser. Linen rich, easy to iron. These were 23 pounds. I just really like stripes at the moment, but it's like a ecru striped, but kind of like washed out trouser. 
and I thought these would be really nice from the beach as well and they are just so comfortable. They fit very well, they have like a tie waist here with pockets here and even with this swimsuit like if you wanted to throw it on to go to lunch I think that would work well. Even like slightly clashy with the white shirt but not in a way that you couldn't wear it just because the white shirt's like a true white and this is more of a cream. And then this is the hot pink Hansa G one. It does fit like it is known for being incredibly stretchy but with the stretch also I feel like comes a bit of a lack of support for my boobs like it actually looks quite nice on now but I do feel like I'd have to kind of keep hoisting my boobs up but I will take it away um, and maybe I'll look for like a I don't know if Hansa G do any under wide ones I just feel like at an F cup I probably should just need a little bit of support just because I can feel them kind of like slipping down in the suit and then they'll just become a bit like but this is with the shirt over the top and I just really like the colours together and I think it would be cute with a tan and like gold jewellery and a cocktail or something like that. This shirt I'm just living in at the moment. I will link this one below, this exact one, but it might not have the blue and white stripe colourway. But if you get an oversized 100% cotton shirt from H&M, I feel like it will be identical to this. I would never really go for something this pink, like normally I go for like blacks and whites and neutrals but I just thought it would be really cute and suit the tropical vibe so that's almost all my bits all those will be linked below with sizes so I feel like I'm gonna wrap that vlog up here thank you very much for watching all the links will be below and my beauty pie code don't forget it um really recommend that you try them out this is my makeup now after like two or three hours and I didn't even use a setting spray so great staying power and I think I just need to take it easy so I do actually have quite a bit of work I need to edit these Instagram reels and just prep for tomorrow shooting and stuff so I'm trying to everyone keeps on saying like take it slow prioritize rest but I've taken two weeks off from work and it just makes me feel a bit like I've got a lot of stuff to catch up on um, but thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. And actually, I want to do, I've got a few things that I want to do, but definitely like a full hair routine. And then also another makeup video, like, you know, I did the Charlotte Tilbury one before that was like really up close. I want to do another one like that because I think people really appreciated seeing all the skin up close and the makeup up close. So I'll do something like that another time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.